Alright, so as you guys can see, I'm currently training in a home gym. Uh, this is not the YMCA, this is not a public place, there's nobody else here, and it's just me. So, uh, big thanks to my friend Ben and Nick for letting me use their home gym. I highly, highly appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, I'm finally able to start working out again. It's been like probably a two week or two and a half, three week break since I've lifted and this is the fourth workout in. I was extremely sore coming into this workout, but um, Overall, it went pretty decently. I did everything that was programmed and yeah, moved pretty well. So this is the 315. So I had basically a five by five on squats today, uh, just with 315, which is like not a heavy weight for me at all. Um, as you notice though, I am training in flats now, which I like a lot more. I don't know if I really talked about that in the past video, but once we get to uh, the part where I'm recording from the side, you'll really be able to see that my bar path has really improved. Uh, and squats overall just feel a lot more comfortable now that I'm training in flats. So right there you just see me uh, summoning my sleep paralysis demons. <laughs> uh, with squats a little bit I did notice that I was like kind of off balance. So like when I was warming up with just the bar I was kind of like falling backwards and stuff. So it's definitely going to take a few more workers to finally like get used to how the squat feels and doing some mobility work after the workout and everything which would probably be a good idea anyways. Um, but yeah, here's the video that I wanted to show you guys just uh, from the side of the recording. Um, and you can see that my bar path is almost perfectly straight up and down, which is like a huge plus for me because forever, like my bar path would shift forward like probably a good inch or two, maybe even three inches, uh, like right out of the hole. And basically flats completely got rid of that issue, which I'm really happy about. Uh, right here, I'm benching. As you can see, we have a Thompson fat pad. Uh, kind of mixed feelings about it, but I mean this is what we have to train. So uh, Yeah, just benching on this today. Uh, I did a 245 top single which moved actually decently well um, It's not a lot slower than it used to be but I also benched four times this week So literally every single day that I was in the gym I was benching so yeah, and then right here We have a set of 15 with 135. I had like three sets of 15. I believe um, basically just to get enough volume to like finally get back into the groove and stop being sore as shit all the time. And right here I just want to appreciate how good these Gymshark Lux tanks look. Like I, I've got this blue one and then the white and black one but like they look so good. I'm literally, I don't know dude, it's definitely one of my favorite pieces of clothing I've ever worn in the gym and honestly in general because they like fit super well and I, I don't know I was just very excited to wear it that day. Right here you can see I've just got some deadlifts, uh, warming up with 315 with a little pause at the first one. Uh, deadlifts overall are feeling okay, like my mobility is not totally there yet, um, but like 405 moved decently fine. Uh, this next set actually, so this was supposed to be 435, but I had two 10s on the left side, which is why it looked all weird, and then like a 10 and a 5 on the other side, so it was completely uneven. Uh, and it kind of fucking hurt, so, uh, but whatever. So this is a 365 for five, and that's pretty much all the deadlift volume that I did, just like two or three sets of five, and that's about it. Yeah, guys, so I just finished up that workout for today, um, and I'm basically just gonna show you guys around the gym real quick, because this is where I'll probably be for, I don't know, at least a month, I would say, so. Obviously, you guys, like, saw some of it from the workout I just uh, did a voiceover on, but this is the, Basically the squat rack I get to use. It's a really nice rogue squat rack. Like it's super stable and everything, which is awesome. Um, obviously we have a rogue Thompson fat pad here, which I've kind of got mixed feelings about, but I mean, dude, it's freaking sick and I like to use it a lot. Um, but obviously I can't use it in competition, which is why like I don't really want to use it all the time, but because we got it here and it's probably the best bench option I have here. That's what I'm going to be using for like the next month or so while I'm training here. Uh, there's also this adjustable bench with I, which I could do like incline on if I ever want to. I don't really have incline ever programmed, but 
there's that bench too if I want to use that. Um, there's a metric ton of weights over here. I'm pretty sure it adds up to like at least a thousand pounds, which is really awesome. Basically, I can do all of my powerlifting stuff and progressive overload on this stuff. I'm so sorry. I'm so out of breath. I really don't know how. I literally did two sets of deadlifts, but um, they've also got a Texas or Texas or Rogue Ohio deadlift bar. Uh, which is really nice. I don't know if I'll be able to use that. Then there's another uh, normal like Olympic bar. And then this Duffalo or Buffalo bar, whatever you call it, uh, is also here. I don't know if I'll ever use that, but it's really cool. Um, here is the deadlift platform you guys saw me working on today. Um, it's really nice, actually. My friend Ben actually made this. And it's like super high build quality and everything, which is really awesome. Then over here we got um, some other accessories. These are like the gauntlet stuff, like a grip gauntlet stuff from Juji Mufu, if you guys know who that is, which is pretty cool. I don't know if I'll ever use it. I might just mess around one day and use them just to see where my grip's at, I guess. Uh, and then there's like a belt here, some clips, a bunch of bands if I ever want to use those. There's like chalk in this little thing here. Um, and then over here we got some dumbbells. It's just 90 pound dumbbells, and I don't think there's any more dumbbells in here, but um, if I ever want to do like dumbbell rows or something, I can use those probably because that's probably the weight that I would use anyways. Um, and then we got this super nice down lighting right here. So I think I took like at least a few pictures over here today, uh, which is pretty dope. And I kind of liked it that there's only one light in here because it's like kind of dark in here. And then if you want to get some solid lighting, you come over here, go into the down lighting. So yeah, super excited to be able to train here. For those of you that don't have a gym, um, there's plenty of like really good at home workers you can do. If you want like specific programs for at-home workouts, I would probably recommend the RP Strength programs. I'm pretty sure they have like um, some at-home programs and basically like RP Strength, like you guys know them. I think I've talked about them before. Uh, they're like super scientific and they do a ton of research. So all of their like programs and stuff are super like based on science and like like are going to get your results, like literally. Like I like if I wasn't having a coach right now, I would 110% be doing something from RP Strength because I like fully believe their stuff and I like, yeah, that's my best recommendation for a workout program if you guys are looking for something really good. Uh, they've got like hypertrophy stuff. I'm not sure if they have any powerlifting stuff, but like if you're looking to get big and shit, like that's definitely the way to go. Basically, I'll be working out here like Monday through Friday, I think. Uh, Friday's a little bit in the air still, but literally like four to five times a week is so nice. It's so much better than zero. And I'm seriously so grateful to be able to train here in general. So um, yeah, this week was actually my first week back into training, which was actually kind of rough just because I was like so sore these past few days. Today, I actually felt pretty decent. Squats went really well. Um, I obviously talked a lot about the workout in the voiceover. So uh, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go home right now and I'm pretty sure we got some solid dinner that I'm gonna absolutely scarf down. Uh, yeah, time to go home. All right, so as I said earlier in the video, I'm basically gonna go over some questions uh, that some people asked on a poll on my Instagram a couple days ago. So here we go. All right, so the first question I'm gonna answer is how do I basically do YouTube and college at the same time? And pretty much what I think it's gonna come down to is time management and like, like how I prioritize my time. Like not so much like time management because like personally I'm pretty bad at that. Like I procrastinate a lot. And oftentimes I just get like way too focused doing one thing and then just really just lay off everything else that I have to do. So I'm pretty bad with time management to be honest. And pretty much I think what it's gonna come down to is like how I prioritize my time. So basically when I was at college, um, I was basically like when I was in class, I was obviously focusing on doing stuff for college. But when I was out of class, I was more focused on doing like, uh, like lifting and uh, doing YouTube stuff and basically just like planning out what I'm gonna do for different YouTube videos for that week and stuff like that. So to be honest, I wasn't putting all of my effort into college just because like you can have like whatever a 3.1 I think just like stay in my program and keep my scholarship. So um, like it wasn't really a hundred percent of my effort like going into college because like I was obviously focusing on other things like lifting and YouTube especially like I'm really trying really hard to get going on YouTube and stuff. So I would say that it wasn't really like my full effort at college, but now that I'm like at home doing online school because of this coronavirus thing, uh, I've always got a lot more time and I'm probably going to be able to make a lot more YouTube content in the next coming weeks or months. I don't know how long it's gonna take. Oh, this is a good question. So squat rack, bar, plates, dumbbells, etc., for under $500. So 
as you know, a lot of people are making like wooden squat racks and stuff. So if you're trying to get something for under $500, either talk to friends about it and see if you can use their home gym, which is pretty much what I did, or um, pretty much probably build a wooden squat rack. I think you can build it for like under a hundred bucks. Pretty sure James English did this, so if you want to check out his video, I would definitely recommend that. But I would say, yeah, definitely make a wooden squat rack and then there's like some different stores, like basically like fitness stores that you should like call and see if they have like plates and bars for sale because oftentimes they'll be a lot cheaper or they'll be willing to give you like different deals and stuff just because of this whole virus thing that's going on. Um, and then I think there's also this other channel called like Garage Gym Reviews or something that pretty much like went over how to get a home gym started for under $500. So his video is also really good. So I would say pretty much like connections, like if you can find some place to train, uh, probably do that instead of make your own, own home gym because it's probably a lot more convenient for you and also like you'll be able to use a lot better equipment. Like right now I'm able to literally do everything I would normally be doing besides like like lat pull downs and stupid isolation exercises and stuff. Um, so yeah, connections. All right, this is another really good question given the coronavirus situation. Um, so ideas on how to retain strength and not lose mass. So pretty much this is going to all come down to the activity level that you have at home. Um, obviously, if you're just laying in bed, doing absolutely nothing, eating like shit, you're probably going to lose strength and you're going to lose some muscle mass. Um, the good thing is, though, is that there's something called muscle memory. So when you come back to training um, and you start working out again, your muscles will come back very quickly uh, just because you have already made like those muscle cells. So they'll be able to come back pretty quickly. I would say that in the case that you want to keep all your muscle mass while you're like in this quarantine situation is pretty much going to be doing like some sort of home workouts every single day, basically keeping your activity level up. I'm pretty sure uh, I watched this video from Jeff Nippert that was like one ninth of the training volume you typically do is enough to keep all your muscle mass, which is actually pretty crazy. So uh, like putting that into context, like you could be doing like something like 20 sets of squats per week. One ninth of that is only like two sets of squats. And you can probably get the same like muscle activation hypertrophy from doing like air squats or like doing squats with like dumbbells or something like that. Um, so I would say that you can definitely maintain your muscle mass over this quarantine time. Uh, it's basically just going to come down to the amount of activity you do uh, during this time. All right, so that's pretty much all the questions I'm going to answer for now. If you guys have any more questions that you want me to cover, like right now, just ask them in the comments below. I will get to you. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing well over this coronavirus, like quarantine and stuff like that. I hope you guys aren't going too insane and you guys are spending more time with your family and stuff like that because that's pretty much all we can do at this point. So um, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in the next video.